Are you worried about unwanted guests in your RV? We're not talking about guests like Cousin Eddie or someone like that. What we're talking about is rodents, spiders, insects, the creepy crawlers. Yep. We've not had any problems in almost three years, and we're going to share our secrets with you now. We wanted to cover this topic because we see it asked a lot online. Yeah, and we actually get this question a lot about how do we keep pests out of our RV? Mm -hmm. Also, we want you to stay till the end of this video because we have a couple updates to share with you about our channel. Mm -hmm. So stay tuned for that. But let's get into talking about what we do to keep pests out. Before we ever even got our RV and we were in the research stages of it all, I started hearing horror stories about rodents and insects they're horror stories to me okay <laughs> yeah. and nobody likes to find a, yeah. mouse, a mouse in their house no and that was something that i said we got to take care of this right away yeah because obviously you're out and you're in campgrounds you're boondock and who knows where you are or what kind of rodents might be in that area but rodents can fit through like dime-sized holes the tiniest of cracks squeeze yeah. down and mush themselves into things <laughs> right gross this also doesn't just affect part-time RVers. This affects full-time RVers as well. It's equally both, I would mm -hmm. think. I mean, if your RV is stored, obviously there are some precautions you would take that are different than a full-time RVer. Right, and we'll touch base on those in just a little bit. So while we can't guarantee these particular methodologies are going to work for you, they have 100% worked for us. Yeah, we have not had a single rodent. We barely had a spider. We've barely had insects other than if we have the doors open, let's say Bugs it's travel fire. day and we have some flies coming in or something like that. Yeah. Never a single ant in the house, never mm -hmm. a single roach. You know, we get the occasional like gnat or flies. house fly or something like that. That's usually our fault for leaving a door open or yeah. something. A spider now and again, because right. those are coming off trees and stuff and coming in different ways. Yeah, but, but rarely, really. Very rarely. So we're going to share with you our top tips. Number one is fill gaps. Yes. So. You're gonna get your RV and it's gonna have chloroplast or something underneath of it. And there are gonna be holes in that chloroplast where your spare tire goes, where you have your dump valves, other various things. So you're gonna to wanna to get up under your RV with some stuff called good stuff. And you wanna get the pest block variety. Good stuff is that spray foam insulation stuff. That hardens. Yeah. And you know, I got up under RV up by our spare tire and other places and you just spray it up in there and let it expand. You and didn't fill. really find many places <laughs> no, where I... there were gaps, but for, for my mental piece, he did it anyhow. Yeah, I basically filled over other filling just so I could tell her, mm -hmm. yeah, I filled it. <laughs> right, and then you also wanna check in your basement and you know, even in the outside of your RV and just look for any places where you think that a critter might be able to squeeze their way in. Mm -hmm. Additionally, on the inside of your RV, anywhere that there's plumbing coming through from the basement area to the living area, under your sinks primarily, mm -hmm. get in there, look around. Usually there's pretty big gaps in there. That way, if you happen to get any pests in your basement, they're at least blocked from going to level three, which is into your home. Yeah. That's pretty easy. You can mm -hmm. usually get away with just one can of that stuff and go around and fill everything up. Right. Also make sure your coroplast is tacked in on the sides and critters can't get in from the edges. So the next thing that we did, and we actually did this before we even moved into the RV, was I started buying up like pest repellent stuff. And I didn't buy too much, but what we did was we did the little botanical pouches. Mm -hmm. There are a couple different brands. There's Stay Away, there's Fresh Cab. We've had good results with the Stay Away brand, mm -hmm. and it's available in spider repellent, roach repellent, rodent repellent, ant repellent. We've purchased the rodent and spider, and I have we done the ant? I think we have some ant stuff too, but... Yeah, we haven't really had a need for it, so I think maybe yeah. we bought it once. And what we do is we just take those little pouches and we put them throughout the RV in different areas where we think would be the most effective. So in the garage, by the patio door, I usually keep a couple there. Tuck them in corners Tuck and stuff. Tuck them in corners, yeah. And we just Ooh. have them spread out throughout the RV and then we change them out every couple months or so. Mm -hmm. We also take some of these spider repellent bags and I'll put those up higher because mm -hmm. typically that's where spiders are gonna come in. So we've got those on top of the bunk in the office slash guest room slash garage. Mm -hmm. And we also have some in the bedroom, like up behind the TV, just places you can the tuck attic. them in up well, higher. Well, we call yeah. it the attic, but it's the little the loft bunk, sleeping yeah. area. 
Yeah. And then the last thing that we bought were those like ultrasonic pest repellent devices. I don't know if they work, you guys, but we have one in the garage, one in the kitchen area, and one in the bedroom. And one in the basement. And one in the basement. That's right. <laughs> I forgot about that one. And they're bright white, so I just took some black electrical tape and wrapped it all around it so that it kind of blends into the dark wood, just so it's not as obnoxious. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know if these things work, but we haven't had an issue. Knock on wood, and I hope we're not jinxing ourselves. <laughs> And the last thing that we do is we turn on our underbelly lights. We yes. have blue LEDs under there, and we think that probably helps quite a bit also. We have heard that a lot of people do this. We actually have some good friends of ours who found a mouse in their house, in their garbage can underneath their sink, and they were kind of freaking out because they're like, well, what do we do? And so I gave them a list of all the products that we bought, and I also told them about filling the gaps and turning on the lights and the underbelly. And the only thing that they did out of that list was they started turning on their lights and they haven't had a problem. And we're not talking about the lights like on the front cap because I know that's a sore topic for a lot of people. <laughs> we wouldn't leave those on all night, so don't worry about that. I'm talking about the ones strictly mm -hmm. underneath the RV. And if you don't have those lights on your RV, which I know a lot of people aren't gonna have those, we've seen a lot of people just use the LED rope lights and put mm -hmm. those around. You don't keep them up real bright to where they're obnoxious and they bother your neighbors. Maybe find a colored one. We have the blue ones, which are pretty mild looking. You know, mm -hmm. they're not really obnoxious. Yeah. And you know, you can get those and you can get the kind that change colors, but that might help also. And speaking of them having a mouse in their garbage can, we did tell them to go ahead and get a garbage can with a lid. Yeah. So we do have a garbage can with a lid on it in the bathroom and under the sink in the kitchen. So those are the four big things that we do. Some of the other obvious things that you can do is just keep it clean. Right. You know, pick up the crumbs, don't leave anything laying around. If you are part-time and you're storing your RV, get every last morsel of food, including crumbs out of there. Don't leave food in the RV, even if it's sealed box or bagged food, mm -hmm. get everything out of there because you know those rodents, they can chew through that stuff. Mm -hmm. So get it all out. And if you have kids and you think that maybe there's a bunch of crumbs maybe tucked in underneath your sofa <laughs> or something cushions. like that. Yeah, you might wanna clean that too. Because you might find some change. You might find some change. There are some other DIY methods that a lot of people talk about online that I've read a lot about, and people either swear by these or say they didn't work at all for them. So try them if you want. We've never tried it, but I'm talking things like peppermint oil on cotton, cotton balls, balls and... put like near cracks and crevices or anywhere you think a critter could get in. Also, we hear that Irish Spring soap is supposed to be a deterrent. Fresh and clean is a whistle. That's Irish Spring. Fresh and... Whistle. I've actually heard other people say they that, eat it. yeah, that the rodents it's actually delicious. eat the soap. <laughs> so I don't know. And then we've also heard mothballs and dryer sheets and those things. So feel free to experiment and try the different things. Whatever you want to try, we yeah. haven't had any experience with those. Another thing that we'll do is after I set up camp, and if I see any ants or anything starting to crawl on our landing gear or our tires. I will put down some actual pest block spray mm -hmm. that we keep handy. I also will put down some diatomaceous earth, which we just tra started trying recently. We're not super sure if that's working or not, but again, why not throw a little bit of that down too, right. you know? Yeah. As far as keeping it clean also, if you're a full-time RVer, you know, keep your snack bag sealed really well. Keep your cereals and things like that in Tupperware. Mm -hmm. We have a uh, pantry organization thing that we did. We tear, took all of our stuff and put it in Tupperware. That was awesome. Yeah, all of my grains and pastas and all that stuff, I keep in tightly sealed plastic, like thick plastic containers. So mm. I think that that helps too. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it does. I mean, again, these are just the things that we've done and we've had yeah. luck. So it's probably, it's probably not one or two things. It's the combination of all of them. Yeah and um, it's worked for us. Let us know if there's something else that we didn't mention that you've tried that works for you, or let us know if you've tried any of these things and they haven't worked for you. Mm -hmm. We're just curious. We wanna see what everyone else is doing out there. And this brings us to a couple of updates that we wanted to mention. Right. First of all, you may notice this was a very short video. Typically on a holiday weekend, we just skip that week, but we wanted to put something out for you guys, even if it's just short. Mm -hmm. We're probably gonna do a few more of these shorter videos throughout the next couple of months because it really helps us to 
catch a breath. Yeah, to catch a breath <laughs> and to give us a little bit of time to get some other things done because our list of other things is getting longer and longer. And so things uh, related to my health issues, to other work-related issues. So we just need to get some stuff done. We're trying to do a little bit of reorganization so we're not working 80 hours a week each. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah. And lastly, you might notice that our RV is not behind us. Here's our site. Where did it go? <laughs> Where's you the know, road? Oddly enough, this site's empty too, but that's Jason and Ray from the Getaway Couple <laughs> yeah, site. Jason and Ray are over here. We'll give you a little clue. Tom and Cherie are back here. Yeah. We'll give you a little clue. We're in Elkhart, Indiana. Getting some work done. Yeah. Speaking of pests. Speaking of pests. Speaking of pests. Thinking, there's a, there's a, let me get my, get lined We're up We're talking here. about there's pest a, control and you just a, popped up. Don't worry, I'm leaving. That was funny. Speaking of Tom, there he is. We are getting some cool upgrades that we can't wait to show you guys. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have some really cool stuff in the basement that I'm super excited about. And some other things too. And some other stuff. Yeah, so it's all super secret. Super secret. Until coming, we tell you about it. Coming your way soon. Yeah. Oh, I know what I want to say. Last week's video, everybody was upset with me that I didn't put Daisy in it. Oh Come my here. gosh, we got to get some Come Daisy. Here. Come here. And here's a four-legged little furry monster that's not a pest. She's not a pest. She's the best. She can be, she can be pestering, can't you? Well, she can pester us sometimes. That's only when she needs attention because we're spending too much time editing or something. <laughs> Anyhow, you guys have a wonderful Labor Day weekend and we will see you next week. Yep.